News writers, political commentators, and the pundits of the blogosphere appear to agree on one thing. This nation's deepening financial crisis lessens the likelihood that either American political party will be able to deliver meaningful health care reform anytime soon. This despite the fact that health care now consumes upwards of 17% of GDP, or $2 trillion a year. Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Krauts, Senior Director of Worldwide Health at Microsoft. Now, I certainly don't claim to be smart enough to have all of the answers, but as someone who's practiced medicine for 20 years and is now steeped in the technology industry, I do have a pretty good understanding of how some fairly simple solutions and the appropriate business models to support them could dramatically improve access to health information and medical services in America while lowering costs. Today, we have a health system that's largely built around appointments and the automobile. Need a bit of information? Have a simple question? Want some reassurance about something that's going on with your health? Okay, well then you need to get on the phone, call your doctor, make an appointment, wait hours or days, take time off work, drive across town, wait in a waiting room, wait in an exam room, and get your five minutes with the doctor. <laughs> and Lord help you if you need a prescription, that means even more driving and waiting. It's a system that just doesn't work very well and certainly doesn't scale. It's also resplendent in inefficiency and waste. But because it's the only way your doctor gets paid, it's still about the only way that healthcare happens in America. I know that much of what doctors do day in and day out is dispense information and advice. I know that 30% or more of primary care visits to doctors could be transacted far more efficiently and at much less cost using communication and collaboration technologies that are now widely available, including messaging, email, voice, video, and web conferencing solutions. If we want healthcare reform, let's start talking about true 21st century reform that will provide a range of more efficient and lower cost delivery mechanisms for healthcare information and certain kinds of medical services. Let's deliver exactly the right level of care in a way, time, and place that is most appropriate using all the technologies at our disposal. And let's start rewarding physicians for sharing their knowledge and cognitive abilities beyond the walls of their medical offices or clinics. Let us know what you think. For all of us at Microsoft, I'm Dr. Bill Krantz.